And Hydra's blocked a bunch of <laughs> minerals there, I think. But no, the Spore Colony goes down. That's what he is anticipating, that Spore Colony being taken down. Because if they had both stayed up, he would have had a hard time mining from that natural expansion. But anyway. Oh, four Zerglings sneaking inside of Hyva's main. These could do a lot of damage uh, before they're taken down by the Sunken Colony. But no uh, nice grouping of drones. No drones go down for Hyva. That was some good micro from him. Going straight into an inner mineral to hide his drones. Right next to the Sunken Colony too, so that worked out. Hydra is still grouping up, but Hyva anticipates this. He anticipates the Zerglings, gonna track them down, kill as many as he can before they split up. Um, one Zergling stuck by, but the rest are out in a clump. Right for the picking! Okay, no static defense in the way of Sunka Colonies out there, so a big Zergling attack would probably be moderately successful. He can get by Hydra's Zerglings. Uh, use the Mutas, pick off Hydra's Zerglings, and then run by with your own Zerglings. That would be a good game plan at this stage. Okay, a bunch of Zerglings coming in for Hydra, and for a rude surprise. Now that the Mutas are still playing defensively. Okay. Let's see the drone count. Looks like it's a pretty good drone saturation for Hyva. And they both have good drone saturation. Actually, not a whole lot have been taken down in this game, surprisingly. Uh, with all the <laughs> circlings running around. So, okay. Hyva doing what he can to defend against these all these pesky Zergling harassment attacks that Hydra is doing. Because Hydra knows if he gets just the right attack, uh, he gets in there, kills just the right amount of drones, he's going to be able to steamroll his way to victory uh, after getting that early 10 hatchery at his natural. He got the earlier base, he was mining from it earlier, and now he has the three drones on the extractor to help out get a nice big Muta army going. Okay, I'm gonna try to take control of the skies. He doesn't have, he only has the one uh, spore colony inside of his main. He has the two with the natural expansion because that's what he anticipated being attacked the most. And that was a good call from him. He's got the ledge right behind that natural expansion which usually makes it easy to attack. So that's why Hyva went for that immediately. Not to mention it's right a straight beeline from his own natural expansion. But if Hyva really wants to get things done, he's got to kill these Spore Colony. Spore Colony in yellow. Hy Hydra being chased away by the Scourge. Now the Spore Colony goes down. So Hyva is giving himself a nice line to do some more harassment behind this natural expansion with the... Oh, may the Scourge land on Hydra again. So Hydra desperately trying to micro against Hyva because Hyva is just going to keep harassing that natural until Hydra makes him stop because that ledge is there just gives you some great uh, great vantage point of the drones and unless there is an overlord in the vicinity which there is, this is the overlord position right next to that natural that'll help out a lot in at least finding those mutants once they come down to that natural but now uh, yeah Hydra is going for the counter attack he's going for the counter at this at Hyva's natural expansion there was a, the sunken colony there, but no spores to fight back, so Hyva forced to bring back his mutas uh, to his natural expansion. Trying to chase him away with Scourge now. Got the Scourge en route to kill these mutas. And for some reason, Hi Hydra is not microing against the Scourge. He seems to be far enough away from them, but he doesn't want to be caught um, by the rest of the Scourge that were behind that one, I think. Oh, tries to micro against the Scourge. Unsuccessful. One lands. Uh, getting that one muta down to 11 health. Okay. See if <laughs> Hydra is still running away. Play the Benny Hill music here. As he's trying to get away from these Scourge. Both Scourge land again. Those, those <laughs> mutas are softened up, to say the least. And Hyva, sensing the blood in the water, seeing the opportunity after landing all those Scourge, he comes in trying to attack again. But once he sees the second Spore Colony, he's like, okay... I uh, gotta get more mutas in this clump. Before I do this, try to get lucky. Kill the rest of the mutas that Hydra has. Hydra trying to run out with some harassing zerglings. Okay, this is getting very intense now at this natural. Hyva, Hydra, rather, has not been able to mine much at this natural. After losing that spore colony that was within range of the mineral line, he hasn't been able to do much at all. 
He's going to try to transfer back over to the newly rebuilt extractor uh, to get, at least get gas. And it's going to be probably a little bit awkward to mine with that spore colony in the way, but whatever. Okay. Haiva is back to defensive mode, keeping away the Zergling harass. <laughs> the observer's pointing out the injured Muta. Muta got some crutches, got air crutches. It's kind of limping along in the air. I know that doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but just envision it. Yeah, now you got it in your head, and you know that it's it's possible to... Anyway, so here comes Haiva down again. It's got a bunch of Scourge. Right, coming in with another round of Scourge. Look at the Scourge positioned, waiting for Hydra to strike. Trying to get lucky, waiting for a Hydra strike. But Hydra has resaturated his extractor, at least, not mining from these minerals, as Haiva was floating over just trying to make sure that was the case, because he would have been able he would have been able to easily snipe drones if they were on the minerals. Lots and lots and lots of scourge in the air now for Haiva. <laughs> the, the Muta is going back and forth. Do, 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 do. Sort of microing around, staying warm, as the pro gamers like to say, but okay. Two control groups of Mutas for Haiva. He's got a big control group worth of Scourge. Just ready to go. It's okay. Haiva, he has a sunken colony at the front, which will help out a lot if Hydra is to try to send in one or two Zerglings to harass again, which he has done a lot in this game. So a sunken colony at each base, actually, which will... Uh, Definitely limit the amount of drones that are sniped on Hiva's side. And there's a sneaky Zergling trying to see if Hiva has taken his third base. Hiva has not taken his third base yet, but we are starting to get to that point in the game um, where the Zerg player would try to take a third base. It's hard to do it in a ZBZ. And that's why we don't see a lot of ZBZs go to mid to late game. It's just because a third base, dreadfully difficult to secure if you don't have static defense all over the place. I mean, even as the the hatch is morphing, there's like an 80% chance it's going to be taken down by a giant grouping of mutas. Alright. So no third base yet from either of them, but they could definitely put down a third hatchery anyway uh, to make complete use of the second extractor and all the minerals that they're getting. If they've droned up at their natural expansion, well, it looks like Haiva has. He's gotten some drones on the minerals at his natural expansion. I'm not sure if Haiva, Hydra has done the same. Dear God. <laughs> so, there is Haiva, all quiet on the western front. You can almost see a tumbleweed go by. Of course, the tumbleweed is made of creep and other Zerg materials, so there you go. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think I actually did see the tumbleweed there for a second, but I could be going crazy. This has been a really long week. This is like the week to end all weeks. <laughs> At work and... yeah, anyway. Back into the game, enough of the nuke life stuff, but I didn't see much in the way of mineral mining at Hydra's natural expansion. He just had his drones on the extractor. A couple of scouting Zerglings now coming down, and Hydra's moving out with his Muta army. There's a, sc a scouting Zergling gonna try to get a drone kill. Oh, close, but no cigar. Oh, there's a drone kill, Hy Hydra drone uh, going down. In a second, Hydra drone goes down. It looks like Hydra is not quite paying attention. He has, he's focused everything on the Mutas moving up the map. He lands a bunch of Scourge, has some more Scourge coming in, but oh, big Scourge trap from Hyva. This could be the decider. Uh, no Spore Colonies to help out Hyva, but he might not need it. No, he's focused in, kills Hydra. So Hyva moves out into the round of eight after a grueling tiebreaker. So the guy with the worst ZVZ record of the group is going to move out with the guy with the best ZVZ record of the group. Well, this has been Nuke. The round of eight is on the way soon, so I better make a preview video. Alright, I'll see you guys later for more commentaries.